African Wild Dog Pack versus Hyena Pack. Who would win a fight? African Wild Dogs and Hyenas are two groups of animals that have inhabited Africa for hundreds of thousands of years. While these two animals may look somewhat similar, they are drastically different with divergent evolutionary histories. The African Wild Dog is known by many names, including Cape Hunting Dog or Painted Dog. Its scientific name, Lycaean Pictus, means Painted Wolf, referring to the animal's irregular mottled coat. African Wild Dog differs from the rest of the members of the dog family, Canidae, in having only four toes on each foot. The spotted hyena is one of the many large carnivores on the African savanna. Although many people think of it as a scavenger, the hyena is actually more of a predator. It is an expert hunter that travels in packs of up to 20 or more animals. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that if you want to watch more videos about animals, even prehistoric animals, I recommend you subscribe to the Wild Facts channel. I leave the link in the description. Thanks. Social Organizations African wild dogs form incredibly strong social bonds with one another and are highly intelligent animals. African wild dogs are very social animals, living in packs with separate dominance hierarchies for males and females. Packs consist of 2 to 27 adults and yearling pups. Uniquely among social carnivores, the females rather than the males disperse from the natal pack once sexually mature. Males rarely disperse, and when they do, they are invariably rejected by other packs already containing males. Wild dog pups are cared for by the entire pack and usually have older siblings to watch over and feed them. A wild dog pack will move their young to a new den site, usually a hole in the ground or a rock crevice, a few times during the denning period. This is due to a number of reasons, but is usually to avoid other predators in the area that could pose a threat to the pack and the pups. In terms of their social intelligence, spotted hyenas are considered to be close to the same level as certain primates. They have a matriarchal social order of related individuals that are called clans. One alpha female leads the clan. These animals mark their territory by scratching the ground and with an oily substance that they secrete from their anal glands. Areas far away from the den are their latrines, another way of marking their clan's territorial boundary. Mating for this species is polygamous. Males do a bowing display for attracting females before mating. Gestation is for about four months, and one to three cubs are born inside a birthing den. The milk of a spotted hyena is very rich, and cubs can last for a few days between feeds, unlike wild dogs and lions. Females have the sole responsibility for bringing up the cubs. At two to six weeks of age, the cubs are moved by their mother to a communal den. The young are entirely dependent on milk for about eight months and are weaned at 12 to 18 months old. They reach maturity at the age of two to three years. Males leave their birth clan at around two years old, whereas females remain. Size and Description the African wild dog has a coat pattern of irregular brown, white, and yellow patches, which is unique to each dog. The coat can range from smooth and short to long and shaggy. This is because the coat and pattern varies depending on the habitat. The only marking that is the same on the dogs is the white tipped tail and the dark snout. It has quite large rounded ears, which are used for signaling other dogs and also for controlling body temperature. 
Adults usually weigh about 39.7 to 75 pounds, 18 to 34 kilograms, and they are about 29.5 inches, 75 centimeters tall. Their length is about 39.4 inches, 100 centimeters, and they have a tail that is about 11.8 to 17.7 .7 inches, 30 to 45 centimeters. The spotted hyena is the largest species, and it grows to 4 to 5.9 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 meters long, and 2.5 to 2.6 feet, 77 to 81 centimeters tall, from paw to shoulder. They weigh 88 to 190 pounds, 40 to 86 kilograms. The spotted hyena may look unusual at first sight. It has a large head with a long, thick, muscular neck and powerful jaws that give the hyena the strongest bite of any mammal. Its front legs are longer than its back legs, giving the hyena a profile somewhat like that of a wildebeest or bison. The short, coarse fur has a yellow or gray tint covered in spots which differ among individuals. Its ears are more rounded than that of the other hyenas. A short mane of hair along its back stands upright. Hunting and behavior. Operating as a single unit, wild dog packs are the most successful hunters of any predatory mammals on the continent, with a success rate of around 80%. By comparison, lions have a success rate of 30%. African wild dogs are specialized diurnal pack hunters, which catch their prey by chasing them to exhaustion in a pursuit clocking at up about 66 kilometers per hour, 41 miles per hour, for 10 to 60 minutes. Their hunting strategies differ according to prey, with wildebeest being rushed at to panic the herd and isolate a vulnerable individual, whereas territorial antelopes, which defend themselves by running in wide circles, are captured by cutting off their escape route. Medium-sized prey is often killed in two to five minutes, whereas larger prey, such as wildebeest, may take half an hour to pull down. Unlike most social predators, African wild dogs will regurgitate food for adult as well as young family members. Pups old enough to eat solid food are given first priority at kills, eating even before the dominant pair. Subordinate adult dogs help feed and protect the pups. In a large group, spotted hyenas are able to chase lions away from a kill. But during a hunt, the hyena's impressive hunting skills come into play. They are able to chase down prey over long distances while running at up to 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers per hour. Spotted hyenas often pick out the young or weak from the herd, but they can kill even healthy adult ungulates. What they hunt depends on numbers. The bigger the hyena clan, the larger its prey. This can include young rhinos, adult wildebeest, zebras, and Cape buffalo. The hyenas work in a group when hunting such large prey, and young hyenas take years to become successful. Smaller packs chase down gazelles, impalas, warthogs, and waterbucks. Powerful jaws are able to crush bones with ease. Now it's time for the fight. Who would win between an African wild dog pack and a hyena clan? A hyena is much larger and more powerful than an African wild dog. No competition at all, but at individual level. Thus, a hyena can be twice or even three times the size of a wild dog, not only more robust with a more powerful bite. The bite power of an African wild dog is 318 PSI, while that of a spotted hyena is 1,100 PSI. But the question was not over a one-on-one -on -one dispute. 
but their packs. Thus, the other variable is the number of individuals in each pack. African wild dogs live in permanent packs consisting of 2 to 27 adults and yearling pups. Spotted hyenas live in large communities referred to as clans, which can consist of at most 80 individuals. Group size varies geographically. In the Serengeti, where prey is migratory, clans are smaller than those in the Nogorongoro crater, where prey is sedentary. Clans are more compact and unified than wolf packs, but are not as closely knit as those of African wild dogs. Hyena clans are larger than African wild dog packs in average. Hyenas are used to directly battle over prey on a regular basis with an even larger predator, the lion. So their clans need to be large, while African wild dogs will more likely avoid direct confrontation with lion's prides. The three top predators share territory in lots of places, but studies show that African wild dogs are the ones to adapt themselves to their more powerful competitors. All of that just to say that, on average, a clan of hyenas wins over a pack of African wild dogs. There is extensive evidence on that, but nature is nature, and African wild dogs can be a fierce enemy if the conditions and numbers are on their favor. Thus, in certain occasions, African wild dogs can beat hyenas. Personally, I think that only if the number of dogs is much higher than the number of hyenas, then they could win. However, in a fight to the death, if the packs are equal or even with a small advantage of the dogs, the hyenas win. What do you think? Enter the community page and vote for this fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.